Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Today we will go to complete our LO 2.08. The second lesson is about derivatives of exponential and logarithmic function. First, we should know the definition of the number e. The number e is a limit of 1 plus 1 over x all power x as x tends to infinity. This is the definition of the number e. The number e is a limit of a function. This function is 1 plus 1 over x all to the power x. Okay. This number is the base of uh, <coughs> some type of logarithm, which is called a natural logarithm. There is another definition for this number, which is limit of 1 plus x all to the power 1 over x, as x tends to 0. This is another definition for the number e. Here is two generalizations for uh, the previous rules. This rule limit as x tends to infinity 1 plus k over x all power mx equal e power mk. m is a coefficient of x here and k is a coefficient of 1 over x here. Okay and uh, limit as x tends to 0 1 plus kx all power m over x equal e power mk. k is a coefficient of x here and m is a coefficient of 1 over x here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we have also many results for those, for those rules. Limit as x tends to 0, a power x minus x equal ln a. Ln a is a logarithm for the base e, such that a greater than 0. Because we know there is no uh, logarithm for a uh, <coughs> for a negative number, so a should be a positive number. Uh, as a result of this, or a special case of this rule, we have the, the limit as x tends to zero for e power x minus one over x equals one. Okay. Uh, and also we have limit as x tends to zero log logarithm of one plus x to the base a all divided by x equal logarithm of the number a to the base a. Uh, also we have uh, limit as x tends to zero ln one plus x over x equal one because uh, ln is a logarithm for the base e and ln e to the base e equal one, okay? Uh, if x tends to zero positive, the right limit for this function, uh, ln x equal negative infinity. Uh, and limit as x tends to infinity for ln x equal positive infinity. <coughs> First, we will take the first derivative for the function f of x equal e power x. Uh, we know f of x equal e power x. Uh, if we put uh, x plus h instead of x, f of x plus h will be e power x plus h. And applying uh, our rule for the first derivative, f dash of x equal limit as h tends to infinity, uh, tends to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, uh, this gives us uh, f dash of x equal limit as h tends to zero e power x plus h minus e power x all divided by h. And by taking e, e power x as a common factor in the numerator, okay, and distribute it into two uh, or a multiple of two functions, we can get the limit of e power x as e power x itself and limit e bar h minus one over h as h tends to zero 
which is equal one, and the result will be e power x. So uh, e power x is a derivative for itself. E power x is a derivative for itself. If we differentiate e power x, the first derivative will be e power x also. <coughs> for example, if we have y equal x power 3 e power x, and we want to find the first derivative for this function, okay, we will apply the, the product rule as we know. Okay, uh, the first as it is x bar 3, the first derivative for e bar x, which is e bar x itself. And uh, now uh, we will inverse what happened in the first term. Let e bar x as it is and differentiate x bar 3, which is 3x bar 2. And by taking e bar x, and x bar 2 as a common factor, the first derivative will be x bar 2 e bar x all times x plus 3. Uh, the second uh, example, if we have y equal 2 e bar x over x plus 1. So, uh, to differentiate this function, we have the quotient rule, which means uh, dy bar dx equal, uh, as we know, low d high minus high d low, if you remember. Uh, the low function, which is x, bar, x plus 1, as it is, uh, the first derivative of the numerator, that if <coughs> d by dx for 2 e bar x, and uh, high d low, uh, 2 e bar x as it is, and the derivative of the, number, uh, the denominator, x plus 1, over the denominator power 2. By doing the differentiation, okay, and simplify, we get 2x e bar x over x plus 1 power 2. <clears throat> to generalize uh, the first derivative for any function, we have the chain rule. If we have z as a differentiable function of x, and f of z equal e bar z. So, if the dash of x, or d by dx for e bar z equal e bar z as it is, and this multiplied by dz by dx. Uh, <clears throat> now, we are going to uh, speak about the derivatives of exponential functions to the base a. If we have f of x equal a bar x, not e bar x, a bar x, which a may any positive real number except one. Any positive real number except one. A may be half, may be zero, may be seven over eight, may be greater than one. The important thing is the value of A must be, pos must be positive and not equal one. So if a dash of x equal A bar x as it is, but multiplied by the natural logarithm for a for the base a lin which is lin a f dash of x equal a bar x multiplied by lin a to generalize this rule uh, we have d, bar, d by dx for a power z considering z as a differentiable function of x uh, its first derivative will be a bar z as it is multiplied by lin a as we know from the previous rule, but uh, this multiplied by dz by dx, okay, to achieve the chain rule. Uh, our example, find d by dx for each of the following, okay, functions. First, y equal five power x bar two plus two x, x bar two plus two x. We have the base equal five and the power x bar 2 plus 2x. If we take x bar 2 plus 2x as a function uh, uh, like z, so z equal x bar 2 uh, plus 2x. Its derivative will be 2x plus 2. And the derivative of y equal is a function itself 5x bar 2 plus 2x multiplied by ln 5, which is the base, ln 5. 
all multiplied by the function of the power, which is 2x plus 2. Uh, the second problem, y equal to power uh, 6 square x. Uh, y dash, so y dash equal to power 6 square x as it is. Multiply by ln the base, ln 2, okay, times uh, dz by dx, which is the derivative of 6 square. What is the derivative of 6 square x? Okay. Okay. Number C, <coughs> y equal e power 2x multiplied by a power x, x power 2 minus 5. If we notice that this function is a product of two functions, the first e power 2x and the second a power x power 2 minus 5. And we will multiply, we will differentiate it as a product of two functions. Okay. Now, the derivative of a natural logarithm function. If we have if x equal in x and x greater than zero, uh, x must be a positive number because we know that there is no logarithm, logarithm for a negative number. <clears throat> then if the dash of x equal one over x, we can prove this uh, rule easily. If we put y equal in x, and change it into uh, uh, the exponential form. So x equal e power y. By differentiate both, uh, both sides, differentiate uh, the first derivative of x equal one, and the first derivative of e power y equal e power y itself multiply by dy by dx. Uh, then dividing by e power y, both sides by e power y, dy by dx will be equal 1 over e power y, which is 1 over x. Now we have an example for this rule. If we have y equal 5 minus 3 ln x, its first derivative y dash equal the derivative of 5 equal 0. The derivative of uh, three, negative 3 ln x equal negative 3 times the derivative of uh, ln x, which is 1 over x. Uh, B, y equal x square ln x. We can differentiate it as a product of two functions. The first function is x power two, and the second function is ln x. Uh, C, one minus two ln x over ln x. Uh, as, we, as you know, this is a quotient rule. The chain rule for this uh, uh, rule, uh, if z is a differentiable function with respect to x, and f of z equal ln z, so d by dx for ln z equal, 1 over z as it is, multiplied by dz by dx. Uh, applying this rule for a special case of uh, ln uh, fx less than 0, d by dx equal ln negative x, ln negative fx. Remember that negative x is a positive value because we make x less than 0 at the first. Uh, so d by dx for ln negative x equal one over negative x as it as it is, multiplying by the derivative of negative x, which is negative one. So we will get one over x. Joining this rule to the first rule, we can get uh, d by dx for ln absolute value of x equal one over x, whatever the value of x except zero. Here, x may be positive, may be negative, but not equal zero. Uh, as an example, uh, find dy by dx for each of the following. y equal ln 7x minus 3 all power 2. 
7x minus 3 power 2, we can put it as z. So the first derivative, y dash equal 1 over this function, okay? Multiply by the derivative of z. Uh, to derive uh, 7x minus 3 all power 2, okay? Uh, we, may we may apply the general power rule, as you remember. B, Y equal to X power two, ln X power three. Okay, uh, as you see, it is a product of two functions. Y equal X over ln X, as you see, it is a quotient function. Uh, the derivative of uh, the logarithm function to the base A. If f of x equal logarithm of x to the base a, not to, to, to the base a this time, then f dash of x will be equal 1 over x ln a. Uh, the general case for this function is logarithm of uh, z to the base a. Uh, its first derivative will be 1 over z ln a times dz by dx. Now we have an application for the first derivative. We will derive the function and uh, and plug to instead of x. Y equal log 5x to the base 2. Its first derivative y dash equal 1 over 5x multiplied by uh, the derivative of 5x which is 5. Okay, uh, don't, uh, don't forget ln 2 okay and uh, substitute by x equal 2 and you have the slope of the tangent b y equal 4 log 3x plus 1 okay we know 4 is a constant so uh, driving uh, the logarithm function it will be 1 over 3x plus 1 okay <clears throat> uh, Multiplying by the derivative of 3x plus 1, which is 3, and dividing by log uh, ln 10. 10. Where is the 10? 10 is the base of this log. If we have the, the log without base, so its base will be 10. And apply uh, x instead, uh, 1 instead of x to get the slope of the tangent. Uh, now we will go to a, a very important uh, using for the logarithm differentiation. If we have x power 3 plus 5 all power x. Now we have the base is a function of x and the power is a function of x. Uh, this function to be derivative, to be uh, get derivative, uh, we must must take the, the logarithm for the two sides. Okay, so uh, if we put ln y equal x power 3, uh, ln x power 3 plus 5 all power x, okay, and apply the rule uh, of ln, which x is will be a coefficient of the ln, okay, uh, and go in uh, differentiation. Uh, the same will be uh, if you have y equals sine x all power 10 x. Now as a homework, you can solve this slide. Thank you.